Happy Friday. Good afternoon. I know it ain't top of the morning. I know it ain't the afternoon walk. Um, currently in Boston, Massachusetts, here for a conference at Harvard University Business School that's put on by the African American Student Union. So I'm excited about that. First time in Boston. Been ripping and running, traveling, and moving. Uh, got my workout in not too long ago, but didn't get a walk in. 75 hot is over, but I still want to get a walk in. But I also just left 70, 80 degrees, and here in Boston right now is 28, but it feels like 15. So I think I might keep my talents in here on the treadmill, but um, I wanted to tap in with y'all today. Um, appreciate the birthday love. I know I talk about it on the birthday episode, but appreciate those that reached out, sent cards, sent gifts, um, you know, sent words of encouragement. And I really do appreciate it and touching on it again because, um, you know, some may think I am, and I will say I am self-motivated and self-driven and all those things. But the people that's around me also, you know, create that experience um, and make that experience for me. So, you know, this being just turning 31 on Tuesday, we're now, this is the fourth day. <laughs> But um, just got to Boston, so here to handle business, um, conference, network, meet some folks. Um, you know, meet a lot of coworkers that I actually never met in person, too. You know, when you work remote, um, I tell people it's sometimes easy to kind of get stuck on your own island um, when you are working remotely. So um, something I've prayed about and, you know, asked about and my manager's been able to provide me is I've been asking for more exposure. Um, I've been asking for more increase and things of that nature. So... Really, really, really excited uh, for today. It's a black tech conference. So, you know, outside of the professional and work development, I'm um, looking forward to make some potential connections for the podcast, um, make some potential connections just for myself, you know, always being open and um, others as well. I tell people that all the time is that every time you sit down with somebody, every time you network and make a contact, it don't got to be just to benefit you. It could be to benefit your best friend, your coworker, your mom, your cousin. Um, your classmate, you know, those different type of things. And that's what kind of just go back to what I've been talking about on some of these small talks, just being a genuine good person. Um, and, you know, when you be a gen- when you, um, you know, practice that and walk and just being a genuine person, um, you get genuine and steady results. So um, I'm in here now. Had to catch up on some work. I was on PTO all week. But I'm about to go network, um, learn a lot, rub some shoulders. Um, ain't nothing like being around your own people, you know what I mean? Your own people, black folk. This is Harvard. Um, so I'm excited to be here just in general. Like, not like I'm going to school here, but, you know, like Hove say, far from a Harvard student. Um, and as I was reflecting the other day and just always reflecting and, you know, just being grateful for the favor and the blessing that God has placed over me. Um, and like I said, I'm reminded when I look at pictures, when I... Uh, think about people who lost their lives. Just talking to my boy Head the other day. You know, Head's going on. Ah, it's crazy when you think about it now. It was year 15 for him. You know, he's been in college ready for 15 years. Got arrested when he was in high school. So um, I just say that to say, man, as I'm looking out this window here in Boston, downtown, um, you know, different vibes, man. I, I hate to sometimes say that, like, you know, if you say I'm just a kid from here, but for real, I'm just a kid from Northeast D.C., um, that God had bigger plans for and I was blessed to have a successful family to push me and support me in whatever that I do. So, you know, um, this is my first conference uh, of the year, of the year. This is the first conference of the year, the first conference of 31. And I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling blessed. Um, so I ain't gonna wrap y'all up too much and I need to hurry up and get in this Uber. But um, one thing I want to drop on y'all today is that just be comfortable. Let me say, let me say be comfortable. Get comfortable and get in the process of, um, I would say, showing up to things that you don't have to show up to, right? So, for example, this conference wasn't mandatory. Um, It wasn't something that I had to go to. It kind of falls under my role a little bit, but it's technically not under my roles and responsibilities. uh, Responsibilities is one of my teammates. But my manager, knowing the interests that I have and trying to, you know, increase my awareness and exposures in the diversity field, uh, my community skills, you know, those that listen to know me know I'm always about networking, building, connecting with people. So she threw it at me. And um, it's funny because this weekend I was going to celebrate my birthday, um, you know, like in Florida. And then um, when they came across it, I was like, no, nah, this is a birthday gift in itself. Like, you know what I mean? I had my couple of days at home to chill and have fun. But like, we got to get back to it by any means. So 
Um, I tell people just just get into the zone of that. Like I said, I'm here on behalf of the company. I'm here to some more, uh, support and um, attend one of the uh, panels that the, one of the CEOs of Health Equity is speaking at. But um, it's like there's nothing that does with my direct job, you know, requires me to be here. So before I leave this room, you know, may think, what are my expectations? My expectations today is to go learn and go connect. Before I leave here on Sunday, I know for a fact I'm going to leave here with three solid contacts. That's my goal. Three solid, you know, and they don't all have to be HR or corporate related or tech related. It might be a fitness contact. It might be someone that just resides here in Boston or a contact at Harvard, a potential podcast interview, whatever it is. um, I'm for it. And, you know, like I said, you got to always show up. So I'm in here making sure I got my suit and tie and everything on point. Right. Smelling good, looking good and going to get to it by any means. So y'all have a happy Friday. I have a blessed and safe weekend. Hopefully it's warmer than it is here in Boston. Um, shout out to Boston. Shout out to Zay. What up, Ziggy? Shout out to the Celtics. Um, they on the road. You know, I would have got with bro if he was here in town. But um, y'all have a good weekend. And we're going to keep getting to it by any means. Thank you for tuning into Dreams by Any Means Motivation Station, where hustle plus faith equals success. Stay tuned for the next episode.